passage I want to look at this evening is found in the Gospel of Mark, Mark's Gospel, chapter 8. And uh, the reading is verses 22 through verse 26. Mark chapter 8 now, verse 22. And he cometh to Bethsaida, and they bring a blind man unto him, and besought him to touch him. And he took the blind man by the hand, and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes, and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he saw aught. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. After that, he put his hands again upon his eyes and made him look up. And he was restored and saw every man clearly. And he sent him away to his house, saying, Neither go into the town, nor tell it to any in the, or in the town. That's a reading from Mark's Gospel, chapter 8. Now, would you pray with me for a moment? <clears throat> oh, Lord, our God, we are thankful for the opportunity again to come into thy house on this Lord's Day evening as it comes to a close. We're thankful for this Lord's Day and for the blessing of rest and for the blessing of being in thy house to join with thy people in fellowship and in worship and in uh, the preaching of the word. We're thankful for it and we ask for thy continued mercies with us. O oh Lord, Bless thy servant tonight as he tries to speak now from this passage of scripture. Open his heart and his mind that he might have freedom of thought and of speech, that he can bring a message that would be uplifting to this waiting congregation and would be honoring to thee in all of thy greatness. We do pray for those in need, for those who are sick, uh, for those who are needy, for those who have lost loved ones. Uh, there are so many things that we could pray about this evening, but thou dost know all of our needs, and we pray that thou will fulfill them and continue to be with us in every way. So bless us now as we look into thy word. Forgive us of our sins, for we pray in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, and for his sake we pray, amen. <clears throat> this passage here in Mark's gospel uh, gives an account of the blind man of Bethsaida and how it was that our Lord healed him. Uh, the giving of sight to the blind was a miracle that Jesus had performed on, uh, several times in other places, and yet no two of them were were alike. They were all, all, all different. They all differ in the details of how they were accomplished and therefore as to what they teach. Uh, in, in fact, this, this healing of this blind man is recorded only here in Mark. Uh, and it's different from all, all, all of the others, although the Lord had, done, had, had healed several people uh, in, 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 his, in his ministry. Uh, but I want to talk about this particular uh, incident uh, and try to bring out some spiritual truths about it. I think uh, 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 it, 
it's a uh, foregone conclusion that we 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 look at the, uh, uh, these miracles that our Lord uh, uh, accomplished, and uh, not only are, were they were great things and great blessings to the, to the people involved in it, but we we uh, believe that they contain spiritual truths uh, and, 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 and in a, a, a number of different ways there are, there are re representative things they, uh, they are or we might call them types or figures but uh, I guess what I'm saying is, is that what we have recorded here we can, we can see spiritual truths in, in the passage that, that, that can have a great meaning to all of us. And that's the way I want to treat this passage this evening as we, as we look at it. And as we, as we look at it, uh, there are three lines of thought that I want to, to, to develop from these verses that I have read in the hearing. In the first place, uh, I'd like to give some word of introduction and to just lay out the facts that are related in, in, in this passage uh, and how we might interpret them and what they might mean to us. As I suggested in saying that this miracle is given by Mark only, uh, it, one of the things that it suggests is that uh, our Lord dealt with individual people, uh, and they were all different. Uh, Christ healed several people who were blind, but the way he healed them uh, and the way he healed this, this man was different from all of the others. And that suggests to us how it is that our, our, our Lord deals with us on an individual basis. Uh, we, uh, he, 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 does, he doesn't deal with just a, a, a conglomeration of, uh, of crowds of people, although he, in, in, uh, he came across crowds of all kinds, but as we see in this passage of scripture, he dealt with, with this man uh, in, a, in a very individual, personal way. And I think that's something that's noteworthy as we think about the, the ministry of, uh, of, 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 of Jesus. Uh, but now let's notice the particulars of how this man was healed. Uh, in the scriptures, uh, usually, sight, uh, being able to see things, speaks to us of, 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 of understanding it, uh, under, maybe spiritual understandings, understandings of God's word, of, or, 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 or other things. That, but the, the idea of being blind and, and have your healing restored uh, speaks to us of having our understanding uh, given to us and uh, how it is a great blessing to us. Uh, uh, and, and that's what we see in this, uh, this passage. Uh, uh, being darkened uh, it, it indicates uh, a lack of understanding, uh, and and blindness is, is in the in the scriptures uh, is, is a part of the sinful nature of man. That's the way, that's the way many times in the scriptures it is, it is stated to us that uh, understanding is talking about our understanding of the Lord and and the knowledge that we have of, of him and blindness means that we don't have it. It's, and blindness is, is, a, is a part 
of the sinful nature of, of, of man. I want to give you a couple of passages from uh, from the writings of Paul in in uh, in, in the Ephesian letter. Uh, he there, there are two verses I, I'd, li I'd like to read, and uh, which indicates uh, what we're trying to get at here. Uh, I'll, I'll, one passage is in the first chapter, and the other passage is in the fourth chapter. I'm going to begin with the, with the fourth chapter. It's verse 18, Ephesians chapter 4, where Paul writes, Having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart, uh, but on the other hand, if, if we turn back to chapter 1 of Ephesians, and at verse 18, there Paul writes, The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling, and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance uh, in, in the saints. And so you, you, you see how... You see how Blindness and understanding go together uh, in the scripture. Uh, and it seems clear that this, this miracle has to do with the healing of the understanding and removing the blindness of the ignorance in this man. It, it, has, it has reference to spiritual realities uh, of, of spiritual life and, and spiritual Knowledge. That's that's the way I want to approach uh, the the healing of, of this man. Now notice the fact that uh, this the blind the blindness of, of this man was cured in stages, uh, and uh, it wasn't done all at once. There there were there were there were two two steps in it as we as we read the. Read the passage. Uh, uh, it is it is true, and we should understand this: that some features of, of our salvation are carried out instantaneously, uh, uh, and and it's done all at once. That's the way spiritual life is imparted. It, it's it's a, it's done in a sovereign way by, by the Lord uh, uh, instantaneously. However, uh, the development of that life uh, usually happens uh, gradually and over a period of time. Uh, uh, the, uh, we should understand that the imparting of life, of spiritual life, and the development of, li of that life are different aspects of salvation. This, this miracle was performed in stages, and it speaks of the progressive healing of the darkened understanding of, of, the, of this man. It speaks of a gradual coming uh, to, to a more perfect understanding of the, of the, uh, of the truth of God. Uh, uh, that's what we, that's what we see here, in, uh, as we as we go along looking at this passage, uh, we should note also that Christ's dealing with this man, although although in two stages, it it took place in, in just in this one encounter that the man had with Christ. Uh, that, that is, the, these two stages of the man's spiritual e experience was compressed into a short time here with Christ. However, in what it teaches us about the, the spiritual development of our, of our understanding, uh, it, it, it's, it, it's usually stretched out over a longer period of time. And... Uh, uh, that's 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 what we should see in this type in this figure 
that we're trying to develop from from the healing of this blind uh, the, of this blind man. Uh, so that's kind of the, that's kind of to, to lay out what happened. Uh, secondly, uh, I want to look at uh, the details, uh, some of them at least, uh, of of the miracle. Uh, notice that his friends brought him to where Jesus was and besought him to touch the blind man. Uh, the concerns of and prayers of friends and loved ones are often the occasion of, of such healing that was true in, in, in the scriptures. Uh, uh, and that is often the con context of, of, of the Lord dealing with us. But uh, uh, it, 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 th th though that happens in many, in many cases, we should understand that it's just the context of it, uh, but not it doesn't materially connect, connect with the actual healing of it. That's something, uh, that's something that is in the hands of God uh, and our Lord himself. Uh, notice that, that Jesus took the man by the hand and led him out of the town. We don't know exactly how far away it was, probably not very far away, because uh, it, it's, it is a, it's a fact that uh, they, were not, they were not out of sight of, 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 of the crowds that, that were around. But, but the point is that Jesus uh, took him out of the crowds, away from all the people, uh, and, and he, he dealt with him on an individual basis. That's the, uh, that's the eye. That's the idea uh, I want to get, a, get, get across. A real, true Christianity, it seems to me, really must come down to the individual before God and the individual receiving the, the touch of, of, of the Savior. It is, a, it is an individual thing. It's a personal thing uh, of And, 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 and that's true in every, in, in every case. Uh, uh, it, it is true that there are those who think that because they are in the midst of a crowd of Christians that all, all, all is well with them uh, and that they're all right even though they might never have had had an encounter, had an actual encounter with with Jesus Himself, uh, I, I, I fear that that's that's true in in, in churches and uh, oftentimes uh, that, that 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 people are are in the midst of a crowd and uh, the gospel is preached and they may think that they uh, have uh, have a spiritual life when. When, when it may not be true at, at all, but what, what I'm emphasizing is the fact that Christ deals with us on an on a individual, personal basis. Uh, the one sure sign that God is dealing with, with a, a person is when that person feels himself or herself to, to be alone with God and that he that his word is coming home to their their heart uh, in a, in an individual way when it when 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 a person feels like uh, the, the the word is coming directly uh, to them. I think people have had the experience in, in 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 coming to church when the gospel is preached to have to have the feeling that that message he's talking he's he's talking to me. Uh, and that word is spoken to me. Uh, that's, that's the way God often deals with us, and, and it's a, it's a real uh, indication that, that, that we are having a, 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 an encounter with God himself, and that's, that's what was happening uh, with, 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 this, with this man. Uh, now, we can see 
some spiritual insight in this man being healed of his blindness. Uh, I, 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 I want to put it this way. That, that which came out of the mouth of the Lord is the means that Christ used in performing this miracle. He, 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 he spit on the, on the man's eyes. That seems a, a little bit gross, I suppose, at, at, at the first sight of it. It, it seems a, 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 a little bit nasty, but uh, uh, it, ha it, has, it has a great meaning. Uh, uh, in, 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 in the type, it, it connected, illuminating the understanding of this man with what came out of the mouth of our Lord Jesus Christ. And what was that? Well, it was, it was, it was the word of God that came out of this mouth. And that's what, that's, that's what touched the man uh, and gave him, gave him his sight or, 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 or uh, uh, developed his sight as it were. It, 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 it's the truth that Christ himself uttered. And that's what we, we have, I think, there uh, in, uh, in our understanding of it. Now in the third place, I want to consider uh, somewhat of what, what this teaches. At this point, Jesus asked the man, uh, after, he, after he spit on his eyes and touched him, he asked him if he saw all, that is to say, if he, if he saw anything. And that's when the man said, I see men as trees walking. Now, that's, a, that's an encouraging thing about the man who was blind. Uh, this was one of the steps, and, and, and the result of it was that he could see men uh, as trees, men as trees walking. Uh, uh, now, what does that mean? Uh, well, it it means that he could see uh, vaguely, uh, but not uh, very well. Uh, he could not distinguish the, the uh, details of the, of the, of the man, men that he saw walking. Uh, not only that, but notice that the perspective of, of things that he saw was, was distorted. Uh, he saw men as trees. Uh, that seems, uh, that's, that's, uh, that would be a dis distortion, would it? wouldn't it, to, to, to see, to see a, 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 a man looking like a tree. Uh, but that's, that's, that's what the man, that's what the man said, that's how he described how much he could see. Uh, uh, he, he saw men as trees. That is, some things seemed bigger, larger, than they really were. And so in one's spiritual knowledge, this may happen. I think it does happen uh, 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 to people. Uh, Spiritual realities at the first of their experiences with the Lord are not clear. Some of them are, are, are distorted. Some things in one's spiritual experiences seem bigger than they really are. And as we, as in, in our immaturity and uh, in uh, dealing with the truths of the word of God, uh, uh, <clears throat> like like the, like this man had a distorted view of 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 of, of the men. Uh, we would we we often have a, a, a distorted view of the meaning of a passage of scripture. Uh, uh, and such people need uh, 
further development. And that's, that's, that's why spiritually immature people have, have often have things mixed up and, and, and distorted in, in, the, in their minds. Uh, uh, and, and this is a more or less uh, normal thing in, in the spiritual development of people. Uh, but it's not the final stage. That's, that, that, was, that was just the, the first stage in it. Some people have not reached uh, the spiritual maturity. There is a further stage to be experienced. One problem, though, that, that people in their immaturity uh, with spiritual things, sometimes people, uh, when, when they when they learn the, some basic things about the spiritual realities, it seems like some people are satisfied to stay at that at, at that point in their in their experiences. They don't they don't seem to have a desire to go further and to grow in in their spiritual development and in their understanding of, of the of the scriptures. And I fear that that there there are. Are, are a lot of people in the churches like that. They, 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 they stay at this stage of immaturity in their understanding of, of, of the scriptures. Uh, but, no, but let's go on with, the, uh, with, with, with what happened here. Now, now Jesus touched the man again. Verse 25 there. After that, he put his hands again upon his eyes and made him look up and he was restored and every and, and saw every man clearly uh, now Jesus didn't didn't intend for him to stay in that initial stage it was only when he could he he, he, he could see clearly and when he touched him the second time he saw, he saw every man clearly. And evidently, as I mentioned earlier, they were off alone, but they, they were still inside of that crowd of people. And I think that's, that's, that's where the idea of him seeing men came from. At first, he saw them look, look like trees, but now he saw them clearly. And, and he had the right perspective of them, and, and he understood uh, what, it, what, it, what it was. The man could now see the details. He could see clearly. It, 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 and it was only then that he could see the, the wonder of God's word and the glory of the, of the great work of God uh, he could see it clearly. Uh, there are many distinctions in, in, in the scriptures. Uh, and uh, in our immaturity, we, we're, we're not able to discern those, those uh, distinctions that, that should be made. Uh, we, but in, in, as we grow and as we get come through that stage where we can see clearly, we, we, be, we began to see those distinctions. We began to see those, those uh, uh, difficult things to understand. We can begin to see them uh, uh, clearly uh, and, uh, and understand them. And then finally, Notice that Jesus then made him look up, uh, and that's that's an interesting uh, expression that he gives, and, and, I, and I, I think it, uh, it, it 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 means to me it does it 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 means that he looked up to heaven and. Uh, uh, it's only then that we have the proper perspective of things. Uh, we must see things from the perspective of, 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 of 
heaven of, of, of glory. We must see the truth of God's word from, 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 from that perspective. And it seems to me that's, that's, that's what, what this means, that, that Christ made him look up. He wanted, he wanted the man to see things from the perspective of, 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 of God, from the perspective of, of the, the, the upper uh, uh, kingdom of, of God uh, and, and, and see them from that, it, 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 that, that perspective. Well, that's kind of the thought I wanted to share with you about this man. It seems to me that the, that it does give us uh, an, an, uh, uh, an understanding some of, of, of some of the basic truths of the word of God as to how God deals with us uh, in, in not only in our salvation, but in the development of our spiritual lives. And uh, I hope we can be encouraged to, to follow own in, in, in our endeavors to, to, to see the distinctions in the word of God, understand better some of the things that God does. And I, I pray that God will bless us to go on in, in our spiritual lives in that way. May the Lord add his blessing then is, is my prayer.